Have you read Andy Weir's Project Hail Mary? I have not, no. You're going to love it. Like, <laughs> it is basically uh, almost answering that, like, how could they not see us type of thing, almost, where he creates this this incredible, I don't want to spoil anything, but, you know, um, it's just the, this, uh, the sense that, like, we could have totally different perspectives with, with an alien race and not even, like, consider that you know we, the two of us are coexisting almost it, yeah i don't want to spoil anything it's really 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 worth the read or oh you mean a different perspective like the aliens have a different perspective than humans yeah like or, both we just like we see with this visual light yeah someone could see in x-ray etc you know like and just the way we even come to the same perspective and like looking and observing is just so different fundamentally that like we could, I mean, it's not quite like that. It's not like it's like, oh, they were actually on the moon and we're, you know, it's nothing yeah. like that. But uh, but it's such a unique and incredible story. I think Andy Weir is one of the, yeah. the best science fiction writers. I don't, I can't say that with much authority because I don't listen to much science fiction. <laughs> so zero authority. I really like Andy Weir's books and that yeah. book is, is no different. But that sounds like, I'm really worried about that. It sounds like uh, I would really love it. I've uh, definitely, I've been very... Uh, I've I've done a lot of reading in my life, but like the science fiction is one of the things I've been really really weak on. I haven't really read much, and I just made more and more friends over the years recently um, that say that I absolutely must read some of are, these things. Are you do you physically read or do you do audiobooks while you run and stuff? Uh, both. I I do both. Yeah, but physically I, I sadly don't. It's a Kindle, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Just, yeah, but uh, but when I well, I run, I also do uh, so I do both. I do about uh, on a normal day, especially now because I've been really focused on on uh, reading. It's about sixty minutes of reading on a Kindle, and uh, one to two hours because uh, I run about two hours when I don't have like other stuff. Like today, I won't run. Uh, so it's about three hours. So on average, I would say it's like two, two and a half hours a day that I read. And audiobooks are just the same. They're a little slower, but they're, they they can, uh, especially for the classics, they can capture some of the magic with a deep voice, usually oh, with a yeah. British accent. I love it. I also read that, uh, listened to, sorry, that uh, a, a book on propulsion like two years ago, I remember. But I remember that was extremely the difficult. Ignition? To, by, yeah, it, it was Ignition. By yeah. Don D. Clark. Yep. Yeah. It was very difficult to listen. Oh, I yeah, I see. Super I don't technical. read. I, I listen when I'm on road trips or running or yeah. stuff like that too. So, I swear there's probably forty or like not forty, but there's like eight minutes of. We tried BMZ fifteen, yeah, thirteen, BM four twelve, RMNL mitral muscle hydrogen for like. I swear <laughs> it's multiple minutes of explaining one trial on something because there's just yeah. so many different chemicals they try. I don't know. It's it's. It's almost a joke. Like I yeah. literally audibly laughed out loud listening to it because I'm like, this is so ridiculous. I'm sure it makes sense reading it, but like listening to it is just hilarious. But it's great though. 